dies to the combo. Sniper shots every time. Headshots. We only take headshots on this channel. Yeah, you gotta remember, we're claiming skulls. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight, oh, do we have a special treat for you because we're one shotting people, guys. OTJ is here, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It's time for some rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin' mono black dukin'. Um, this is gonna be it. I did a preview of this deck uh, this weekend, um, and I sketched out what I roughly wanted to do. That video's still up. Um, and now we have the final draft. This is it. This is the thing. And when I tell you we're one-shotting people, this is gonna use the infamous combo um, that will end the game on turn five. Turn four, turn five, the game is over. There's nothing. They either have a counter spell or they don't. Uh, the game is just done. Uh, they're just they're dead to rights. It is an absolute headshot. So before we get into this one, guys, before we get into the ruthlessness of Mono Black now, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button and become a villain today, well, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may not know is a YouTube werewolf who will maul you with his vicious teeth and claws. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live stream goodness. We would love to have you live and in person on our Twitch channel, uh, or hit that bell and you'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. So we do stream on YouTube as well. You can catch me two ways, and you can tell me how I miss playing my whole hand. Uh, that's fun to do live. Check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, post your decks, post memes, ask questions. That's where our community meets is on the Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this one, follow that link down in the description to the Aether Hub. So how do we one-shot people? Well, we're going to have to get the cards that we want uh, to get our combo off. If you haven't heard of the combo yet, it's an instant kill. Um, so... First things first, removal package. What are we running? Three cut downs, three bitter triumphs. I feel like that's good enough. We're going to be running some defensive uh, kind of um, death touches to kind of receive some attackers. But as far as targeting people, three cut downs, three bitter triumphs. If you want to go with something more like a go for the throat, sure, that's fine too. Uh, not nothing too nothing too crazy. Slow down aggro, um, slow down aggro. Get rid of some of the bigger threats. That's it. Greedy Freebooter, we want to ramp, uh, as, as always, anything that lets us ramp uh, for one black is great, because he's a one black human pirate, when he enters the battlefield, scry one and create a treasure token, uh, that helps us go faster, that's how we can actually pull this combo off on turn four, I believe, if we get a couple of these out and get some treasure out early, we'll be able to ramp quicker, um, and we get to scry, and scrying is important because we want to select the right cards, we want to really pull off this janky ass combo, right? Insatiable Avarice. Now, this is a new OTJ card right here. Uh, what this does, you see how it has, it says Black Plus at the top? I don't know how closely you can see that. It has Black Plus. Um, it has Spree. So, you always pay one black, but you have the option to pay one or both. You could pay two, search your library for a card, then shuffle and put it on top, or target player draws three cards and loses three life. Uh, this can be used defensively to basically select a card, put it on top, then you draw the card for the full price. Or offensively, if somebody only has three life less, you can force any player to draw three cards and kill them. So if you have somebody down far enough, um, you can actually just kill them with Insatiable Avarice and potentially even do double the amount of damage if you have something like Bloodletter out. Bloodletter will do six damage for three black mana, which is not bad at all. Um, or you could do both. You could search your own library for put one on top or target player draws and loses three. So selecting cards, drawing cards, it's going to get us to where we need to be right here. It's going to actually combine us to where we want to go. Uh, Ayara's Osworn, kind of the MVP of this deck. Kind of MVP status. One black and one, two, two menace. Great for early attacks. Why? Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, it has fewer than four 1-1 one, one counters. Put a 1-1 one, one counter. Then if she has exactly four, search your library for a card. Put it in your hand and shoufle. Um, You're going to put it in your hand. You're going to shoufle. Uh, 
you get to select a card for how many times you hit. She gets stronger and stronger each attack. And she's going to be a 3-3 very quickly. With Menace getting bigger, uh, you keep their threats down to 1. They can't even block her. Great, uh, great Dark Knight to put into our deck right there. Bitter Triumph, we already talked about. Caustic Bronco, well, every knight needs a steed, right? I actually really like using a Yara's Orsworn to ride Caustic Bronco, because that's pretty fun. He is a Snake Horse mount. What is a mount? That's a new OTJ mechanic right here. One black and one. Whenever Caustic Bronco attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's mana value if Caustic Bronco isn't saddled. So, whenever you attack, you're gonna draw a card. The only difference is whether or not he's saddled. If he is saddled, your opponent loses that much life equal to the amount uh the card that you uh draw you look at it and reveal it and draw it so you want him saddled he will draw a card off the top and make your opponent lose it again using something like scry put an expensive card on the top put something that you know that you want and then draw it and make them lose life if you really need to take the damage if you know you have like a mana on top you don't need to saddle them just draw the mana and take no damage so it's it's good to play this selectively uh you can play it smartly um and it's a pretty cool card i mean forcing damage loss just on the attack if it saddles is really cool and how do you saddle it well it works just like a vehicle uh you need to tap three toughness um three power i'm sorry tap any number of power creatures with a total power of three so a greedy freebooter and an, an Ayara's Osworn, that's three total, or just one Ayara's if she's a 3 3. We'll be able to mount the Caustic Bronco right there. Servant of the Stinger. I actually really like this guy because he has some really he has some really crazy art. One black and one death touch human warlock right here. When Servant of the Stinger deals damage to a player, if you've committed a crime this turn, you may sacrifice Servant of the Stinger. If you do, search your library for a card, put it in your hand, and then shuffle. Guess what a crime is? A crime is any um, targeting opponents, anything they control, or any cards in their graveyard is a crime. So if you have played target or removal or forced done any target creature and it's done uh, removal or anything like that, um, you've targeted anything that they have, um, you can sacrifice. Uh, if, if, if he does damage and you've committed a crime, you sacrifice him, look for any card, and put it in your hand. So he's like a demonic tutor with a lot of specifics. Very useful. I like him as a early blocker. A 1-3 death touch really does stop a lot of stuff, and he's got a tricky way to get the damage out and get a combo piece into your hand. Gix, Yogmoth Praetor. We kind of need to draw cards in this. We're looking for combo pieces. We're looking for jank. We kind of need to draw cards, and Gith, Phyrexian Praetor, is going to do it. Two black, one, three, three. Legendary creature, Phyrexian Praetor. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may pay one life. If they do, they draw a card. Three black and four discard X cards. Exile the top X cards of your opponent's library. You may play them. We don't ever really use that. We do like to draw cards when we do damage, and he's a great one to mount Caustic Bronco because he's a 3-3 immediately, uh, and he gets card draw, and he does a lot of other cool stuff. Great stuff. Preacher of the Schism. Uh, more and more often, I'm putting this vampire in more and more of my black decks. He is just He just belongs there. One black and two... 2-4 Vampire Cleric Death Touch. Another great Death Touch blocker and out of Lightning Bolt range with that beefy 2-4. Uh, whenever Preacher of the Schism attacks, the player with the most life or tied for the most life, you create a 1-1 one, one va white Vampire Creature token with lifelink. Not bad for a little bit of lifelink and protection and card draw, uh, uh, token generation. Then, if we attack with the most, if we have the most life and are tied for the most life, we draw, we, uh, we draw a card and lose one life. So he's either going to give you a 1-1 one, one lifelink token, or he's going to let you draw a card and lose one life, um, and he's going to make you lose life until you get to the even or not. Or if you're tied, guess what? You get both. Great thing. You can see that card draw, selecting cards, getting the cards off the top is going to be essential and protecting ourselves until we can pull off the combo. What is the combo? You keep hearing me talk about the combo. The combo is instant death if you haven't seen it yet if you haven't heard it be prepared rush of dread three black uh two black and one plus meaning you can choose any of these other um abilities one you pay one extra target opponent sacrifices half the creatures round up two target opponent discards half their cards in their hand round up or this is the one we want two more target opponent loses half their life round up now you can choose one or all, depending. You you have to choose one, but you could choose two or three. 
What we want is target opponent loses half their life round up. That's a five drop right there. That's our turn five kill, okay? What does that mean? That means if they have 13 life, they lose seven. Because half would be 6.5, you're going to round up those uh, uh, those um, odd numbers right there. That is unusual. Usually it's round down in magic, I think. Um, but this is specifically round up. What does that mean? Why is this amazing? Jay, why are you losing it over this one? Blood letter of Aklazots. Three black and one. Two four vampire demon flying. If an opponent would lose life during uh, during your turn, they lose twice that much life. That means that if you have Bloodletter on turn 4 and Rush of Dread on turn 5, you instantly kill your opponent regardless of how much life they have. If he's on the board and you play this and it's not counterspelled, they instantly die. They could uh, The only option is they have Platinum Angel, maybe. That doesn't work. Uh, the only thing is they could have 80,000 life. It doesn't matter because half of 80,000 times 2 is still 80,000. It will either put them to negative one or it will put them to zero. And that's dead. That is the turn five kill. That's why we want to do all this card selecting, card drawing, because if we get turn four blood letter, we get turn five rush of dread, it's over. If they have no way of stopping it, the game is over. Boom. Bar none, said and done. Can we do it on turn four? Yeah, if we get two greedy freebooters, we get a little bit of extra flexibility with our treasure, we can do it even faster. Um, brutal guys, absolutely brutal. Not only is that just a finishing move, let me tell you, the rest of the deck is such a good mono black deck and with life loss and all these abilities, it's going to hurt them anyways. Rush of Dread's a good card in and of itself. You could play that lose half their life round up and then attack them and then just do enough damage to kill them right then and there. So like if they only have 10 life left, you get them down to five and then attack for five, it's over. This is just the headshot ability. This is just the super. Everything else in here is will win you a game as a mono black deck. Brutal. One hidden Necropolis for that explore ability right there. 21 swamps. Um, one draws pits for a card draw comes in tap. And I'm going to say a Cavern of Souls might save your life if you choose Vampire right there. Standard. It is also standard. It is also completely legal in alchemy. You can play them both. We have standard and alchemy legal 100%. 23 creatures. Um... 10 humans it's actually a human vampire the most common so if you get that cavern of souls probably choose vampire because you don't want to get the uh blood ladder of aklazots uh discard you don't want to get him counterspelled six instants seven sorceries 24 lands on a 2.2 average not that expensive slightly modified from my original deck uh that i built this is the one shot guys i have gotten maybe about five people with the instant kill combo they are not ready for it they are not ready they are not prepared here is horizontal view for your pleasure right there for team horizontal if you like horizontal a lot of people tell me they do uh yeah deep cavern bats not a bad two drop for you right there in case you want that slows them down a little bit go for the throat i mentioned Sheldred, for the amount of cards that we're drawing she can help survivability if you don't have like if you don't have three rush of dreads if you don't have four and four you could probably do three and three and throw two Sheldreds in there and still be pretty good and still survive in case you can't really um uh in case you can't really get all of the rares out right here the only rare is that i'm telling you to get off the new set i believe is going to be rush of dread and insatiable avarice so it is fairly cheap to kind of uh, do this the only other card in here oh yeah um caustic broncos rare sorry yeah so you do have to invest some rares from the new set to get in here but it is brutal it is it is gonna be what is messing up people for the next couple of days because it is devastatingly effective leave a comment tell me what you think do you think they're going to ban rush of dread do you think it was an absolute mistake to 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 uh, uh to print a card this powerful and terrible i don't know man some people are already saying ban i don't know um i'll, I'll leave that one up to you i'll leave that out for your discussion here you go guys with the mono black we're going to get into the game we're going to push diamond right now sorry i've been away i was out of town for about five days was unable to really play or do much uh, but i'm back now and it's time to it's time for the quick and the dead boys here we go one shot let's try it maybe i'll become addicted to the insta death
do 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 do. Yikes, that's a sh that's a up fucking shite opener right there. I mean, I have the combo in hand. Why, why, why the fuck not, huh? Boom. Oh, fucking hell, I hate these decks. And me with no fucking removal off the top, you know. Well, I could just get the instant kill, so we'll see. Let's see if he's got the removal. If he doesn't have the removal, he instantly dies. Take action. Boom. He has to use direct removal. Um, put the shitty bat in your deck. Is Yeah, you're right, Sethargo. If he has forced sacrifice... I gotta sacrifice him. Okay, so he instantly dies. Alright, so I can see why fucking this deck is completely addictive. Um... And you're just, you're going to fucking, you're going to get addicted to it real bad. Uh, because of this. Oh my god. The dopamine in my body. Oh my god. You guys. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> being on the struggle bus for like an hour and then just being like Kapoor! just that shit is like the fucking Doom 2 double barreled shotgun right there. It's just it it's not even fair. It's just you know. I, that's all he had. That, that's the whole game. That's the whole game for him is just remove, remove, remove. If you're running a creature deck, you're not going to beat him. Old Dragon Hunter. That guy has a name like a Dark Souls boss. You yeed your last haw. It's true. Freddy Greebooter. Alright. He can't resist. He can't stop himself. He's gonna do it. He's he's a red player. All he sees is tap. There he goes. Yeah, give me that early mana. Yeah. A rush of dread to the head. He can't. He couldn't. He couldn't help himself, man. He's a red player. He's got red backs on the sleeve. I. He. He was. He was looking at it. I could see him mousing over it, and he was just thinking about it and thinking about it. He absolutely could not resist playing removal. He just was. He was shaking at the fucking idea of not doing it. He. He had to do it. Boom. Boom. Hit. Boom. He's a re we got any hardcore red players? If we don't have hardcore red players, they, they, they shake. If they can't turn cards sideways, they fucking tremble. It's terrible, you know? Uh, they just... They just... They get, they, get the, they get the shucks. They get the shimmy shakes, you know what I mean? Um, 
They can't help it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, Rush of Dread. No, I'm gonna pay Insatiable Avarice. I'm gonna say, uh, search your library, put that card on top. Gonna be Vampire Weekend. Boom. It should still be there. It usually saves your your progress with uh with certain stuff. Boom. Boom. There you go. It didn't save the deck for when you log back in. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. I can usually suss out people's actions or what they have. If you've seen me, I've said I'm psychic a few times. I I, I generally am, am fairly aware of what they're going to be doing. Um, I mean, there's only so many smart plays that you can make in a, any given game. That's weird, Sephiroth. Ops goes first. We'll see. Jizza. Bold name, but the man likes what he likes. Urza, I don't like that. Um, we'll discard a card. Do that. Boom. He's unsaddled. But we get a free card off the top. Okay. Seeing some red flags from Oppo here. Yeah. Definitely. Artifact Azorius. He's probably going to do Spring Loaded Trap here in a second. Oh, Union of Third Path. That's the reddest flag there is. Don't get no more red than that. Um, let's do our Yara's Oath Sworn. We want to try to... Oh, there's Rush of Dread. Okay. If we can at least very try before he gets the wipe off. Um, we can try to get the instant kill cards. That's going to be a hard one because he's going to have counter spells, but we'll see. Blue. Hold up. Okay. He's holding it up. He's got something something here. Let's see if he has the counter spell. We kind of want to bait him out. I'd rather him play a kill card than a counter spell right now. Well, I'd rather him play a counter spell than a kill card, really. There we go. Okay, perfect. Boom. Boom. Hit. Boom. All right, here comes the board wipe. He can't stand things to be on the board. He hates it. Oh, I'm a freaking genius. I am a genius. Genius, genius, genius. Negative five, negative five. Boom.
I told you he can't he can't tolerate fucking anything on the board. Boom. Insatiable avarice. Um search your card. And One ring. Very nice. Sacrifice Candy Trail. All right, let's see how much um, Counterspell Magic he's got. want him tapped out. Okay, or the Lord Protector. You own both. You get that. Exile permanent. I need nine mana to pull off the double here with him tapped out. Boom. Boom. Seven, eight, I have nine? Well, if he's got some sort of counter spell. Nope. He does not. He does not, in fact, have a counter spell. He did not, in fact, have a counterspell at that moment. Yeah. Nine, nine mana. I went, I went at it the hard way, double casting it, but damn. Damn. Explosive. The fact that the combo is a real thing, they were just fine letting out astounds me. I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like they may have not thought about it. Oh, you like that Delta Quadrant? I feel like they may have not given it too much thought and just were like, I don't know. Works for me. Uh, I can actually get an Ayara's out turn two. We'll have to see here. Dross Pits. Okay. War Leader's Call. Very nice. Boom. Wabango. All right. We have the, we have the technology here. Uh, Al Alklazots to Dread. We'll see what he puts down. He might have huge combo plays. He might just have massive, huge, thick combo plays, but I don't think so. He's gonna do one damage. Boom. 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 We're gonna do Free Degree Booter. As no, I'm sorry. Blood Letter Alklazots. <laughs> okay. Alright, so if he doesn't kill the Blood Letter, it's, it's Coitans. It's bang dead. Nope, it's bang dead. He's got... Well, he could still play a white removal right here. Nope, it's bang dead. He's dead. He's dead on his feet. Boom. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. All of it is meaningless.
Bang dead. I feel like that sniper in Full Metal and uh, in fucking Saving Private Ryan. Just aim dead. Dun 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 dun. I can't keep I can't believe I keep getting away with this. You sound like Jesse Pinkman. Honestly, not a bad opener. I feel like I can draw into the three here. Yep. Vinzel. Boom. 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 Wonder does it have a reasonable win rate and go unbanned? You probably, yeah. That's what they always say, isn't it? Deep Cavern Bat, what are you going to take from me, man? What are you going to take? Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. Free degree booter. We ride. Boom, Caustic Bronco, we bang him for two. Boom, boom. Okay. Boom. Shell Dread, the Apocalypse. Stinger. Bronco, boom, lose, boom, that's okay. Boom, 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 hit, pop, go for it, all right. Okay, what is he gonna do now? Deadly cover up, destroy all creatures. Very nice. Bitter triumph, don't need it. Gix, Yawgmoth, Praetor. Yara's Oath Sworn. And that. Um, Alclazots, the deepest betrayal. Uh, saddle him up. Let's swing him in. To goddamn land. Boom, hit, pop. Boom. Pay life. I will draw a card. It's another goddamn land. Search your library for the card. Alright. What's he gonna drop here? He's gonna drop Deep Cavern Bat, unfortunately. And Glizzy Slayer. Okay. Uh, discard a card. He gets a bat. 
All right, I should have taken that removal. All right, there's that. So we get Rush of Dread to the head here. I said I'm going to buy. So he either kills Bloodletter or, again, he instantly dies. Sack lose half his life there for lethal. Ooh, sorry. So he's got to kill Bloodletter. He's got to have a removal for Bloodletter off the top. He's looking at it. He's staring at it. Okay. No, it's not going to matter. Sentinel in the Nameless City, not going to matter. Boom. Um, no. He dies to the combo. Dee dee ding ding. Ding, 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 ding. Um. Draw a card. Boom. Either this is the combo. He's either got it or he doesn't. Nope. He gives it back to me. Dies to the combo. Sniper shots every time. Headshots. We only take headshots on this channel. Okay, you gotta remember, we're claiming skulls. Claiming numb skulls. Ah! Uh, that's good. Yeah, we're taking we're taking huge headshots. All right. Come on, MTG assistant. There we go. Boot up already. Spicy. Indeed. El Picante. I think that combo of Noxious Best of One and Best of Four would be like, side tech, it's fine. Um, You're probably right. You're probably right. I feel like you can get it off once. I think it is a Best of One banger. Um, And uh, I, you're probably not going to see it too much in BO2. Bang out. Boom. Best of three, not BO2. Best of three. Boom. Let's go in. Resolute reinforcements. All right. He said, no thanks. I don't have anything. I have nothing for you. Oh, look, we got a little packy packy schmoo here. What do you got for me, OTJ? Murder down in the streets. Ooh, my first Satoru. Really got to do him one day. 
down in the streets, they call it murder. Barely. I mess with mercenaries, I mess with mono black, and I mess with mercenary Rakdos, I mess with mono black and uh, zombie Demir. Ops goes first and no early plays. I don't like that. That's a little better. Yeah, I'll I'll feel I feel better about that. Um, how did the, do the zombie the zombie did good? I I was I was okay with it. A minute. Mm. It's a preacher schism. Uh, let's drop freight tour. The zombie did okay. I I I wasn't blown away by it, but I think it needs a little bit. Again, I just got these cards today. I'm I'm trying to work through everything. All right, let's put your heavy crap loose. But we're gonna do Golgari. We're gonna do we're gonna do every color combination except Simic and some triple colors. Um, I am not the triple color king though. That is Sways. Ways it's a triple color king. He he is the triple color king. I I I am I am unashamed to admit that. He 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 is more comfortable in triple colors than some people are in double. Legit. I don't know. I don't know how his brain works, but that dude, he will triple color the fuck out of you all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. He's the triple color king. Monastery Swift Spear, very nice. Whatever he's planning, I think I'm just gonna take it. Sways needs crazy combos. He does like he pulls off some bank shot combos, and the thing in it's he'll rope in um he'll rope in a a third color just to add a piece to the combo, which you know mad respect he does he he ropes in a third piece to um to go wide on stuff, which is, which is cool. Um, am I gonna have to be able to give him this thing? Uh, Ops draws a card, I don't care. Boom, boom. Aklazots, we play kills next turn. Boom, bop. Alright, alright. One ring to rule them all. Mardu need it. Uh. Okay, perfect. Bango, okay. Lose one life for the burden. What does he got? Mishra's Reefer Sim. All right. I'm waiting for him to double, to throw everything he can at this. He doesn't have much options here. Draw a card. Boom. I feel like if I can get rid of his blocker, I feel like that's six damage. Uh, that's gonna be a good question there. 
Or, or I could always draw some. Terror of the Peaks is a terrifying card. Yeah, it's called Terror of the Peaks for a reason. You know what I mean? It's not called uh, weak ass little fucking punk of the peaks. It's called Terror of the Peaks. Um. He had to do it. Had to do it to him. Please, hammer, don't hurt him. It's. I used to play that back in the day. There isn't a single color that's hurting. No, no. Everybody got some bangers. Ops draws a card. Boom. Caustic Bronco. Boom. Boom. Is it got some good combos? There's zombie. Is it man? Witch Doctor Frenzy. I had a feeling that that was gonna happen. Boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. I had a feeling he was cuffing one of those. What do you write Mega Man of Fulcanon? Souls, I would try a bunch of different starter decks. I would try a bunch of basic stuff and see what you vibe with. If you vibe with mono black, if you vibe with mono red, focus on a mono colored deck first um, and then figure out what your second favorite color is and then go from there. Uh, You'll do best in a deck that you want to play. That's that's the that's the most biggest advice as I can tell you is if I tell you a if I'll go play mono red and you hate mono red, you'll do worse with it than you know what I mean. And that's that's the thing about a lot of people give me suggestions of decks I should um, to play, and they're like play this, play that, and I'm like ah, you, you got to understand. Um, I would, uh, I'll have more fun playing a deck that I want to play, uh, than I will a amazing deck that does everything, you know? Probably shouldn't have done that. Three, boom. He could bring him back, but I'm not too worried about that. Hey, Jester. He really wants that l another ring. That's what he's really looking for. I remember Trex, yeah. I remember every deck you've ever played. All right, you're gonna do that. Boom. Do four, belt through, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I think we got him now. You're in the draft, like they're selecting you for the army. That sounds rough. I don't, I thought they didn't do that anymore. Oh, some countries they do. I don't know what country you're in. I don't know your story. I thought Meat Hook was um, banned across all formats forever. So we start with this. Target opponent loses their half their life. Round it up. Guess what that'll put him at. Three. Guess how much damage I do. I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, it is legal in a bunch. It is legal and timeless. Yeah, okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's banned in standard. That's it. I thought it was banned across all formats for being too amazing. I was incorrect about in that regard. We got time for one more. I don't think Servant of the Stinger is doing too much. I think we may have, uh, but this implementation is pretty good. It's apparently it's only the, um, bum, 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 bum. Bump, bump. It's a good blocker. I haven't been able to use its ability yet. Oh no, not this. Okay, this is legend, so I'm probably gonna lose. I don't have any kill cards immediately. If you don't stop this right here, you you're dead. If you if you can't kill her immediately, she's she'll immediately ramps turn four to some fucking insanity. Which is a damn shame. Oh yeah, he's he's double ramping right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking dead. Absolutely fucking dead. Yep. Uh, I can try to get one of them, but he's not even gonna give a shit. Yeah, he's he's already putting Joda down. <laughs> if you don't if you don't stop the ramp on the on the Legends deck immediately, if you don't immediately shut it down, you're dead. It's just one of those things. Tajik, yep. There you go. Boom. Boom. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll do that. Boom. Scry. Caustic Bronco. I don't want you, Caustic Bronco. Not yet. You're for later. Um, Scorpion with the Stinger. Um, let's do that. Boom, there's the blood letter. Upgraded Fate to Jap before rotation. I'm pretty good. Boom, boom. Hit. Oh, okay. Okay, we may be able to survive here. He didn't hit a mana drop. Uh, Aklazots to the Dread if he doesn't have anything to remove the Dread. Combo is assembled, yeah. We are in... We are in... Uh, we have enough life that we can take a really hard hit. He, he, he gassed out here, unfortunately. Guy has two halflings, but he gassed out. Boom. Okay. So he needed to save that for Aklazots also. <laughs> Iron War Mortal Queen. Ooh, that's going to give him a lot of life. Well, it's not going to really even matter if he fucking gets a lot of life. Um, yeah, that has to attack. It's double strike. It's just going to die. Great blocker, by the way. Serving the Singer. Great blocker. Okay. Blood Letter of Aquazons. Um, hmm. Nothing. Let's hope he doesn't have removal. If he doesn't have removal, it's game. It's it's uh, game over. He does not. It's game over. He can't do enough to kill me immediately. That means it's done. Well, well, he could have another one of these R or as might and do fucking Tajik or R1. Uh, I don't think he does, but uh, um, largely not an issue. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Hopefully that's not a removal. We'll do... We'll just take it. None of this fucking matters. 
We just gotta move on. He he just can't have He just can't have blood letter powers. He just can't have it okay, so he's done. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's Thanos snap him. Nice. Just played a servant of the stinger for all deck where my op used her used hers and a stupid alchemy card shut down my commander. It is very busted. Yeah. I'm only gonna be able to get away with this for a couple of days before everyone's fucking wise to it. A few people are already wise to it, but a few people are getting their heads blown off, so that's funny. Um Yeah, that's that's fucking wild. <laughs> Yeehaw! That's all I gotta say. Alright, folks, we're gonna leave it right there for tonight. I should have done what Numskull said and just went for the for the for the for the instant kills here. Um It's a one shot, man. It's one shot. We're dead shots. Yeah. Until next time, guys. This is fucking brutal. We're gonna have to be. Listen, I'm not. I'm not excited when it's gonna be used on me. It hasn't been used on me yet. I'm not excited for that eventuality. But until then, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye bye.